What is going on guys? Juicy Maniac here. We are back in the video. Today, we will be building our uh, full tower liquid cooling PC. Um, yeah, so it's just going to be like our mini ITX stuff where it's going to be cold. Uh, it's going to be liquid cooling. Yeah, I, this is probably the second. Actually, I think I said in my second video. Uh, this is probably the third or second liquid cooling PC on my build. Um, so yeah, remember, don't forget to comment down below what is your favorite GPU. I will put in the link to get this game for free. And yeah, so let's get started the build. So first we're going to start the motherboard like we do always. Motherboard, motherboard. Alright, let's go with... Let's go with the one that's RGB. Let's go with this white one. Looks pretty cool. There we go. We screw them. <coughs> okay, now it's on install CPU. I'm pretty sure it's, it takes Intel CPUs. Yes, it does. We'll put in an i9. Oh my god. Boom. Then we're gonna go to custom water cooling. I'm gonna add a radiator. We're going to remove some stuff up here on the top. I think that's all we need to remove, actually. Huh? There we go. We got our radiator. We get our CPU blocks. We can use that one. We're going to get our, res our reservoirs. That one, where do you put it on this case? You put it over there. But we need to remove that. Okay, now we should be able to add it. There we go. And then we're probably gonna remove those fans and add an RGB fans. Because you know RGB is like the best. Okay, there we go. And I'm probably gonna add Corsair. My feeling those are one of my favorite brand fans, at least for now. I like these art, these white RGB ones. They look cool. Okay, there's there's that one, and then. Scroll down a little more. There's the third one, and then we're gonna add back. We're gonna put back the uh, the case part on the front. Uh, which one was it? Was it, I think it was a fan filter. Yes, it was. And add the front panel. And then there. Oh, it's about Cooler Master the case. Just noticed. Hard drives. Let's go here. Let's do a two terabyte hard drive. We'll add in an M.2 uh, drive as well. Not, it's not going to be too much, but it'll be a decent amount. RAM, we'll do probably G skill charging Z. RAM, where is it? Memory. Scroll down. Yeah, these are one of my favorite RAM chips. Okay, so that should be plenty. I'm pretty sure that's 64 gigs of RAM right there. And what else we need? Oh yeah, graphics cards. We'll put two 1080s in there. Um, okay, over here. I do not want. Okay, um, let's remove that. That, that one, that one. So we have enough space for the GPUs. Okay, so normally you only need one pipe going through. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I forgot the power supply. I can't forget that. 
Alright, let's do this. Part. Um. We'll do 1000 watt. And I just realized I have to remove this too. I'm pretty sure in a real life build with this case, I'm pretty sure you don't have to remove that. You know, let's just go with the 1600 watt. You know, it's free. Free the better. PSU cradle. To remove that. Put that in. Boom. That's in. And then we're gonna put back PSU shroud. Okay. Surprisingly, it's only half. In most cases that have the uh, PSU shroud is normally full. Cover the most of it except for just like slight little opening on the side. But yeah, okay. Um, we'll start cable management now. So that's the main. I think that's a 16 pin connector, PCI connectors. I forget, I need to plug in the cases, the fans too. That's the case buttons plugged in, in there. Connect reservoir. There. Connect case fan right there. Boom. Bam. Bop. Bada bop. Boom. Crap, I'm, all, I'm one off. Alright, so we connected a lot of wires. Or cables. Cable management. Look at all that nice cable management. <laughs> And then now we're gonna go with probably putting in the uh, liquid. In the uh, hold on, can you put an SSD? I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, there's two slots for SSDs. So let's go to Corsair SSD. Probably gonna put two of those Corsair SSDs in there. Oh my god, come on, little TX Ranger. <laughs> okay, cable management, plug that in there. Plug that in right there. Plug that in there. Plug that in right there. And then. So, for coolant, I'm just gonna put that in here. We'll do white. Finally, it gives me the freaking option to bend. Okay, so there we go, there's that, except, I'm gonna add one right here, one up there, that's good enough, and then except, well, it's gonna go down into this pipe, I'm gonna bring that one up. Actually, you know what? We're gonna bring it down. It's not straight. There we go. And then, except. Okay, except. undo okay it's only press accept so and then we're gonna
Okay. This is really starting to irritate me now. Okay, okay, it's already gone through both graphics cards, so we're good now. Um, okay, that should be good enough. So, the wiring, the, uh, yeah, all this is not the, the best. So we're going to move that back here to make it look. Boom, okay. And then after that, we're going to have the coolant. Which we're going to make it probably white, yeah. It's just gonna fill up real quick. Once it stops doing that, it means all the pipes fill up and stuff. So. Alright, so there we go. So let's see if this thing turns on. You can tell the coolant's working because all the liquid's moving. Let's close up that. I need to add. I need to install my software tool. God damn. Yeah, so now we're able to do that. Um. Let's download that real quick and see what. Take a look. And you can't change the lighting, so. See, these are all the old games. I can tell they haven't upgraded this one. Minecraft, of course. Well, the tanks, of course. Alright, so, yeah, this can pretty much run at any game. So, yeah, I hope this is going to wrap up the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what is your favorite GPU, and I could possibly use it in my next video. And yeah, see you guys later. Peace.